Hello guys, so I've got a lot of windows open, which is going to happen in about a couple of seconds. And I want to look at, let's say, my activity monitor and, let's say, finale at the same time. Or, let's say I want to look at my mail and the activity monitor. Well, if I had Windows 7, I would be able to actually have it take up half the screen, the activity monitor, and whatever program I choose. However, or system processes if you're in Windows 7. However, I can't do that on the Mac. Um, some feature that they didn't come up with, which Windows actually did, was pretty decent. I, I think Windows is a pretty good operating system anyways, Windows 7 anyways. And let's say I want to have it, well, half and half like Windows. Well, I can do this. However, it's going to cost you $7. There's a program out there called Cinch. That's C-I-N-C-H. That basically allows you to do this. I'm going to launch the program to give you guys a demonstration of this. So, okay. So, I have Google Chrome. Let's get it. And I have Activity Monitor. Well, all I have to do, just like in Windows 7, I just have to drag it to the left part of my screen. It'll show a dotted area. And do the same with this. And you're done. It's actually that simple. All you have to do is just drag it to the right. Now, some applications don't work, such as ones that can't be expanded. For example, System Preferences. You don't see a plus there. It'll even show you. You can't do it. Most of these applications you can do. For example, say I want to open up Microsoft Office and open up Windows Word. Excuse me. Uh, Microsoft Word. Takes a while. Hopefully, it'll end up opening. Okay, another demonstration because it's taking too long. All right, let's say I open up Mail. I can actually drag it like many other applications and make it work between half the screen. I don't know why Word's taking as long as it is. Oh, it's updating. So. Let me also show you a uh, nice trick under Windows XP, which you can do this. I will include the link on the bottom as well to the cinch. Unfortunately, you do have to spend 7 bucks. However, you're supporting a local community, which is nice. So I'm going to open up Windows XP and show you I can do the same thing on Windows XP. Not because of this application, because of an application called AeroSnap. I'm going to basically pause this and then you'll you'll get back to oh look it worked. Now uh I have Microsoft Office Word and going to pause it while it responds. Okay. Okay guys, through the magic of Parallels Desktop, I am under Windows XP and now I'm going to show you guys basically how to get this for Windows. Now there's actually a program out there and it's called AeroSnap which is basically named after AeroSnap with Windows 7. And I will include a link. Um, want to show you a better way to basically have this but my .NET framework which by the way you need to have in order to run this um, basically is having issues so I can't really show you 100%. However I will show you that it works. Here is AeroSnap. I know it's not as clean looking as the Mac version. However, it does work. I'm just going to drag this. And as you can see, it just basically put that in half. Now you say, okay, I want to do the left side. Well, that's where my issue is. Usually I have a .NET issue right about now, but actually, it worked. So I guess through the power of restarting, it worked. So, as you can basically see, I have this program and it works actually pretty good. Excuse the buggy process of uh, Windows XP. I actually am running a lot of programs under Mac, so I can't really run it at its fastest. But as you can see, it does work. And I can drag a program like this and have it divided. Uh, 
And I can also use Firefox. And I've got good news for you Windows fans out there. Like many things in Windows world and in Ubuntu world or, or Linux world, um, wh wherever world you're living in except Mac, you can get this for free. Um, this is actually a free program. It's just called AeroSnap. I will include it in the link. However, it's not as clean as the Mac version. However, it is free. And as you can see, it does the same exact thing. It divides the screen into half. So... That's about it, and definitely check out my review on the Apple remote, and also check out my unboxing of the M-Audio mic, which you are hearing right now. It's actually really good quality, and I also plan to use it for my singing, so it, it works out. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and definitely subscribe, rate, and comment.